Welcome back to the channel. My name is Abel and we are back with Football Manager 2020 and the promotion project with Inverness Cali Thistle. And today we could be getting our second successive promotion as a manager after promotion in Turkey last year with Fati Karagumruk. We are one win away with Inverness. If we beat Morton in this next game, we will confirm promotion. If we draw, we might still be able to, to uh, get it. Uh, and then we do have one more game against Partick Thistle if we don't quite make it. But before we are on the game, we're a day before it. We've got a team meeting. We're going to do this and then we're going to see what the guys say. I'm going to say it's an amazing achievement to put ourselves within one win of the title. I'm proud of your achievements this season. That's a fantastic team talk. Really, really good. Morale is, that is great. It's really, really good. So hopefully today we will confirm our second straight promotion in a row. If you're enjoying the series, drop a like down below, leave comments, and if you haven't done so already, or if you're new, do consider subscribing and turning on notifications. We're four points clear of Morton with two games to go. Hopefully we can get it done today. Last episode, we did win. We beat Dunfermline 2-1. Uh, we did go behind, but Tom Walsh with a couple of goals, one from the penalty spot, um, gave us a win. So I think it's been a good season. It was a bit of a slow start. We did only win one of our opening six games. Uh, but since then, we've been on a nice unbeaten run since September. That did come to an end at the hands of Ross County in the Highland Derby. But it's been a good season. Uh, too many draws for my liking, but we've only lost three games all season. We've got the best defensive record in the league. So Jamie Garland is back to full fitness. So he will likely start today. Uh, James Murphy is out. Angus Nickel is also out. So midfield is a bit of a problem at the moment. Um, we've been doing well against Morton this season. We've got some good results against them. Uh, so White and Gullen, both strikers are available. We're going to start Gullen today though. Midfield is uh, McGregor, Trafford and Brown. Don't really have any other alternatives with Murphy and, uh, and uh, the other guy out. Nickel is the other guy, that's his name. Uh, so we don't want to try and get a midfielder on the bench somehow. Um, like David Notman, maybe. He's probably the best midfielder in our youth ranks, in our reserve team, so we'll go with him. Uh, McHattie, McCart, Taylor and Perez, the back four. Ridges in goal. Uh, Walsh and Ross, the wide players. Skivoni and Jackson are both in poor form, so neither of those are playing today. So let's see if we can get this final win to get us that promotion. Um, we might play the last game even if we get promotion. I did say last time that if we got promotion with this game, we wouldn't bother with the part of the game, but we might still do it. So we're up against a 4-2-3-1 with Little behind Kane. Ryan Fulton in goal, former Liverpool man. All right, we're going to go passionate and we are going to say the title will be ours if we can manage a win. That's good. I like the reaction to that. Haven't lost against Morton in seven games. So hopefully that will continue today. If we avoid defeat, we'll effectively be champions. If we win, we will have sealed the title. We have an early free kick here with McHattie. And it's in by Ash Taylor. Three and a half minutes in. Nice early goal. 1-0. Looks like Inverness are getting up to the Scottish Premier League. We're not going to be with them, of course, because if we do get this promotion, it'll be time to move clubs again. Who knows where we're going to go this time. We're going to change country again because I don't want to be in this league again. Uh, Scotland's pretty boring. You're facing the same team four times every season. Uh, we're not going to go back to Turkey just yet. I have opened a couple of other countries, so I'll show you those if we do get the promotion. But since that goal, it's been pretty quiet. But there is a highlight here. 27 minutes coming up, and it's Roddy McGregor to McHattie. And across, it's met by a mole. Here's Charlie Trafford to Perez. And across, and Walsh, and it's 2-0. 10th of the season now for Walsh, double figures. He's had some good form as we uh, come to the end of the season. Been a bit hit and miss throughout. But he's ending the season well. Two goals last time against uh, Dundee, I think it was. Uh, Dunfermline, sorry. And then he's got another one here again. And we are 2-0 up inside half an hour. Great stuff. Convincing end to the season. We played really well with some of our best football towards the end of the season, which is nice to see. And we haven't allowed Morton a single shot at goal yet. So dominant first half. Really, really pleased. There is a late free kick for them here, though. And uh, Barjonas has headed it off target. Half time, 2-0. Um, dominant performance in the first half. Very pleased. Keep it up. Been a bit quiet for some players, though. The midfield have not been great, and Gullen has been very quiet. We're going to replace Jamie Gullen with Jordan White. And a free kick here for Morton. It's Lissell, and it's uh, just off target, but I think Ridges would have had it covers. Although it is a corner, actually, so Ridges did make the save. McCart heads it away, and here is Little. And, oh, we lost the ball there, but that's the end of that highlight. 75 minutes. I'm going to make another change. Um, not really convinced by our midfield options on the bench with Notman, so we're going to leave the midfield as it is. We're going to take off Ethan Ross. 
Going to bring on Schiavone. Second half has been much, much quieter, but we did all the work we needed to in the first half, and with just minutes left to go, it looks like the championship title is ours. There we go, full time, and we are the Scottish Championship champions. We're going to be promoted to the Premiership, and now we're going to be leaving. Inverness win a promotion. We win our second consecutive promotion. Three seasons, two promotions in two clubs. Great stuff. Uh, the board were very clever as well, and they chose to make this game a fan day. So a crowd of over 6,000 uh, spectators for that as well, which is great. I don't know what our attendances have actually been like throughout the season. That was 6,000. And then like the last game before that, we were 3-3. Three, three. So we almost, double, we, we almost doubled our attendance with that as well, making it a fan day because other people got in for... I think it said that you could bring another person in half price. Yeah, so any season ticket holder can bring a friend in at half price. So people took advantage of that, and we've got a lot of gate receipts from that. So that's good, because the club's still in a lot of debt. Hopefully there won't be after this promotion, and we'll get some money in for that, for TV and stuff, because, of course, we're going to be playing in the Scottish Premiership, or they are. We're leaving. So what we're going to do is we are going to very quickly go through the Partick Fizzle game. I'll just show you the goals, and that's all I'm going to show you from that. And then we are going to have a look at how far you have done this season, because I said that we're going to have a look at our previous clubs and how they've been doing. And then we're going to see what jobs are available in the job centre. I'm not necessarily going to go for the ones that are there because there might be some new ones added. Uh, and then, yeah, next time you'll probably see me at a different club. But it's good to be out of Scotland because, like I said, it's pretty boring. And I didn't really want to play another season where you face every team four times in this season. I think Scotland could benefit from a larger league system because I, I think the 10, like 12 team thing... I'm not a massive fan. It's not been the most convincing of seasons. We have had some bad results and a lot of draws, but it's a promotion season nonetheless. Okay, so with promotion tied up, we don't really have anything to lose uh, in this game against Partick Thistle, and they have only won one fixture against us throughout the, uh, the save. That includes games that we didn't manage in. So we could rotate and go with some different players, but I think we're going to stick with the same 11. Uh, do we have guys back? Uh, Murphy's not quite ready. Nickel, probably fit enough to make the bench, so we'll get rid of Notman. But we're going to st stay with this team, and we're going to see if they can uh, end the season with a win. I'm not going to change anything in the first 11. And I'm just going to show you the goals, or any other big highlights, like red cards or penalties or anything like that. That's what we're going to show from this game, and then we'll have a look um, at a few potential jobs. Walsh, it's 1-0, 42 minutes, um, had a couple of half chances before this goal, but Tom Walsh scores in his third game in a row, 11 for the season, uh, really well worked team goal as well, the passing play was just fantastic between Trafford and then Brown and then the ball out, for, out wide for Walsh, cuts inside the right back and a good finish at the far post, in the far corner as well, great goal. Half time, Willie 1 0. Been once again dominant for 45 minutes, lots of possession, and we've barely allowed Partick Fissel a chance at the goal. Full time, it is 1 0. We didn't build on the first half goal, but we controlled the game throughout. Um, some poor performers, but good defensive performance. Midfield were good. Jack Brown gets the assist. Trafford did well. Good performance, just the one goal, but it's fine. We won it. We end the season with victory. So now. Uh, we're going to see what sort of jobs we can maybe go for. We're going to have a look and see how far this season went. And then we're going to end things off. And next time, we'll probably be in charge of a new team. So four players have entered the overall best 11. So some of these players were players that we never man managed, like Rooney and McKay. Donaldson was a player that we sold. And Keating's the striker. Players that we never managed that were here uh, before we were. End of season awards, Jamie Gullen gets player of the season with a massive 74%. I mean, with the injury of Jordan White, he did well. And I think he got like 12, 13 goals in the end for the season. So he did well. Charlie Trafford was a good midfielder. The Canadian he did spend some time on international duty, but he's been good. And Jamie McCart comes third with 9%. He's the uh, captain or vice captain. I think Ridges is captain and McCart's vice captain. McCart scored the goal of the season. Signing of the season was Darren Hines on a free from Morton. One of the, we made a few signings. That one was he didn't play that much, but he was free. And young player of the season, Jamie Gullum. Walsh gets player of the month with his five goals in his five appearances. Rodney McGregor gets young player of the month. We get manager of the month. Fantastic stuff. Really good. We've ended really well. We had a few ups and downs in this season, but we've ended really strongly. 
Here we go. Seven of your players were selected in the championship team of the season. Bridges, Taylor, McCart, Perez, Walsh, Trafford and White. Seven players in the team of the year. That's great. Brilliant. I thought we might get like three, not seven. I'll take seven. Absolutely. Morton do get promotion to the Premiership after beating St Johnston over two legs, so they are going to be joining us. Uh, Fighter Camera Gumruk did not do well in the Turkish Super League. They didn't do well at all. Two wins, seven draws, 25 defeats, 13 points. Pretty disastrous season for them. That's unfortunate. Well, it looks like goals was the um, problem for them. In fact, there's a, a lot of players up here that weren't ours, like uh, Leu... Cher? I don't know how you say that. Doriev, the top scorer with only six goals. That's no good. Tcharic with three. Lepaul with three. There's Mervan. Of course, he's still there. Two goals for him. Akar got two. Sayar got one. Chivalek got one. So the players that we had, only one sort of key player was sold, and that was Chichek. Everyone else, I think, was um, a youngster because I don't recognise any of the names. They spent £475,000 and didn't do well, unfortunately. If you only score 17 goals in a season... That's not going to get you anywhere. And when you, you can concede 59 as well, they conceded the most and they scored 17 goals. That's a goal every other game. That's not good enough. Okay, let's have a look at the job centre. So there's lots of teams in the Swedish Premier Division. How many teams are there in here? I think they have started their season though, they have. So we've got GAIS in the Swedish First Division. Um, they've just been promoted from the uh, division below so they're in the division one elite now you've got the graph shop in the netherlands um that could be something to go for they've been in the eredivisie a couple of times uh last season didn't do too well they're in 13th at the moment so not a great finish for them like mid table so that could be somewhere to look at in the netherlands maybe there might be more teams added to that uh, Rappersville in the Swiss Challenge League, um, they finished second place and they need a new manager. I think they're in a playoff, so they might still get that. If they don't get that promotion, if Lausanne stay up, Rappersville could be something to go for if they don't get that promotion. That might be a possibility because they seem to have been very close. So Switzerland could be an option. So there's a few teams here that we could look at. Of course, there's going to be more as we go on, but um, that's just an idea of some of the ones that we could look at now. But we are going to be going uh, away from Scotland next season. We're going to be managing in a new country, in a new team. Who knows where we'll end up? But we do get our second successive promotion and our promotion with Inverness, Caledonian Thistle. It was a less than convincing promotion. I think we could have done a lot better, a lot less draws, but... It's a good season, only losing three games. I think we've done well. We deserve the promotion. And uh, now we are going to move on to our next club. But that is going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like down below, leave comments. And if you haven't done so already, or if you're new, do consider subscribing and turning on notifications. And I'll see you in the next video where we are going to be uh, either at our new club or still looking for our next club. I like the look of the Swiss team. That could be something to look for if they don't get that promotion through the playoffs. That might be... That might be our next destination, but we'll wait and see. But that is going to do it for today, guys. Thank you for watching, and I will see you soon. Goodbye.